Okay, we're going to move on to our next presentation now. Also a young company from the Boston area. This one is actually uh, thumbs up as a company in Providence. A little bit of a ride away, but still in the uh, Boston area. Uh, Cass Saper is the uh, founder and CEO of Thumbs Up. Again, a company you can see out uh, just outside our uh, Imagine Park uh, area here. Cass, why don't you come up and tell us a little bit about what you're up to with Thumbs Up. And for those of you who uh, are Facebook or social media users, Thumbs Up. Cass, it's all yours. Hello everyone, I'm Cass from Thumbs Up. Thumbs Up is a magic button for TV. So you're watching a show, you love a moment of that show, and you can instantly share that moment with friends. These shared moments are touchstones in our lives, so think back to your childhood. I'm willing to bet there are moments from shows you loved that replay in your mind as clearly as memories from your real life. Now, we used to watch TV together, and we used to experience these moments together. But now we're apart and disconnected, yet overwhelmed with too many friends on social networks. Whether it's Facebook or Twitter, we're forced to sift through endless comments from strangers to hear the voice of our true friends. And that's what matters what a few close friends think. Zynga and Path know this. They're masterful about bringing our friends into the experience. But no one does this for TV. We do the next slide. And it's TV, as you can see, that rules our lives. This is crazy, but the average person spends four and a half hours per day watching TV and only 15 minutes on Facebook. So if we can go to the next slide, this is our solution. It's called Thumbs Up. Thumbs Up, it's a super simple app. It does two things really well. It connects you with a group of close friends and lets you share your favorite moments of TV with ease. You can see in real time how your friends are reacting to the show you're watching. If they liked a moment, disliked a moment, or commented, these are the same friends you talk to the next day, but now they're in a virtual room with you as you watch. And these groups are private and dynamic. So as you change the channel, your group of friends changes as well. So a good example, if I'm watching the Celtics tonight, I'll be thumbs upping with my brother and a couple of my buddies from high school. But if I'm watching The Voice or one of my super secret compromise shows with my wife, like Fashion Police or something like that, I'm thumbs upping with her and a few of her girlfriends from college. So Matt and I are obsessed with making this experience automatic. We sync up to the, sh to the show through a Shazam style technology. Some of you might know about it here in this audience. It's called TV Plus. Um, when you share a comment, we automatically insert the hashtag and time code. And we're building out two really cool features. We bring in the closed captioning, so you can automatically share a quote from the show. And we bring in the video feed, so you can actually share a 15-second clip of any moment with one swipe. Now, there's a free app, so how do we make money? Well, we're a data company. We aggregate how an entire audience is reacting to a show and sell a new metric of viewer engagement. We visualize which moments and which ads the audience particularly liked. And most importantly, we show this in real time. Because when you're reacting to a show, it takes about 15 seconds to type, but less than one to swipe. This is data and analytics I never had access to as a producer for Nova, from Nova. You can't buy it from Nielsen, and you can't buy it from anyone else. And Matt and I are talking with a few major networks, some of them who are in the room today, about integrating this new real-time connection with their audience into interactive genres of TV. So Nielsen built a huge company based on learning what you watch, and we want to figure out what moments are worth. If you're interested, you can follow our progress on AngelList, or come talk to us. We're right in the back there at the Thumbs Up booth. Thank you very much. Thank you, Cass. That was terrific. And the audience obviously can understand how this enhances the viewing experience. Yep. Uh, you mentioned Nielsen, which has been doing, doing some research, as are others, about how people like the two-screen experience. Yep. Uh, 
give us your read on how many people are using the social TV applications while watching television. Sure, so it's interesting. What I'm finding is that TV is splitting into two. And you have the world of big live events like sports, competition, reality like The Voice, big events like Oscars and political debates. And the Super Bowl and the uh, Grammys. Exactly. And, and these, 13 million people. Exactly. And these are events that people have to watch live or you're, you have a fear of a spoiler. And then you have the TV anywhere, any device, scripted dramas, comedies, etc. So something like this is really, really good for the live event. Um, and we're noticing, you know, that's kind of where the ad dollars are flowing and that's why Producers particularly are interested in something like this. And, and I, I think I was looking for something uh, about somewhere between 80 and 85 percent of TV viewers have a mobile device with them. 86, yeah. 86 percent. And use it, yeah. <laughs> and use it while they're while watching they're TV. Watching. Yeah. And, and again, that. Uh, do you have anything more on the demographics? Is it primarily the young audience or is it everybody? Yeah, it's really interesting actually. So it's actually 25 to 34 is the sweet spot. And it skews a little bit female. Below that, the 24 to 18 um, kind of drops off for whatever reason. And actually below that, the tweens go up again. So it's kind of tweens and 25 to 34 is a sweet spot. Although I, I actually have seen some data recently that older viewers, over 45 and over 55, are starting to use it. That's true. And yeah. uh, I think IBM had a report a few weeks ago about very significant numbers. Yep. Uh, not, not like the 18-year-olds, but still pretty significant. Yeah. And that's where the money is. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now, now, you, you put up your URL, which is important on this, so you, we know where to call you to get some money or contact yep. you. <laughs> yep. Where is your funding coming, coming from so far? Uh, so we just went through an accelerator called Beta Spring in Providence. We're self-funded. We're raising a series seed right now, and if there's anyone in the audience who's interested, you can come talk to me about that. You'll be around to collect business cards. Yes, and checks, too. And che yeah, on the spot. How 20th century, yeah. checks? <laughs> how, how we have a term we sheet in our booth, I think, actually. Okay. Yeah. Next <laughs> is the... Uh, you showed you and your team. How big a team do you have? In, in so Providence? we have two and a half. The half person is half time, not half a person. Um, and we have, we're hiring two more right now. So we're hiring a mobile dev lead and a data products lead for the dashboard, which I showed. What do you see as a timetable? How soon will all of these be available widely? Uh, our tools? Our tools yeah. are everyone. You, um, your tools. Ours, so our API is up, our app is up, our dashboard is in private beta. Um, so if you're interested, you can embed this experience into a branded second screen app right now. So Comcast, ESPN, MTV, whatever, if they have their app, you can embed the thumbs up experience into that through our API. Okay, well, which leads to the question, so. you're here at the cable show. Yeah. Are you talking to some of these operators or uh, content companies to build a relationship with them. Yeah, I mean, it's a great experience. I'm just trying to run around the room, you know, stay at the booth and then run through the halls and talk to as many people as and I can. You said so. this is your first cable show. First time, yeah. It's fun. I'm blown away by the scale, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, there's it's a lot great. of opportunity here, and you're looking for a, a new ways to engage audiences in watching TV. Yeah, absolutely. And are you talking to yeah. sponsors also, advertisers? So that's year two, we think. There's a really interesting um, on-demand, laser-targeted advertising play with something like this, but right now we're focused on the production. You know, using this as a tool to enable real-time interactive TV. There's a lot of other companies moving into the space you seek as well. Yep. How do you uh, plan to compete with all the other companies that want to do the same kind of social sure. TV? Um, so we're better, <laughs> first of all. Um, That's the innovator spirit, yep, of course. We're cheaper, but more importantly, I mean, we do differentiate from most of them through this kind of lack of a 15 second delay, which a lot of the text-based things do. So that's a huge differentiator for us. Um, and also, I think our analytics kind of are top of the line compared to most of the other folks. So. Which is a real important part of it, yeah. making sure people can tally what, they, what the viewers are watching. Exactly. Yeah. Cass, good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks Give you for a thumbs me. up on that one. Cheers. Thank you <laughs> Thank very you. much. Sure.